So this one is called uh, Stories and Scars. We all have our stories and we all have our scars. Who is suffering more than the other when we write our memoirs? Is there a point in comparison? Do our experiences really equate? Is your pain more impactive or mine? And how much does it hurt you on a scale of one to eight? We seem to do this all the time. Compare, contrast, whose is the worst? But yours is yours and mine is mine and comparison is perverse. Your struggle is your struggle and our battles are our own. And comparison doesn't make either easier or remove a spiteful curse. We find our own way forward or remain just forlorn of hope. And many people offer ways they think we should cope. My friend in need, we don't need to compete. We are playing a different game, but oddly, we're in the same team. Just on our shirts, a different sponsor's name. So I honour you, and you can honour me by a hand of recognition. Our struggles are just what they are, no matter our playing position. The truth is simply, let's acknowledge and embrace each other's lives, for this is not a competition. Our, viewer, our view is sometimes obscured to only see the limit of our blinkered vision. But I see you and wish you well on your personal mission. We are equal travellers on our separate paths, focused on how we each reach the goal of our own expedition. Unless and until we lose the will that we have found time and again to stand up much prouder and shout even louder than then. There's a, a lovely group called the, uh, the Portraits. I recommend them to you. Social conscience and brilliant singers. And this is as a result of listening to one of their songs that went deep to me. Difference, no difference. Yes, I am imperfect, but aren't we all? And if I choose to stand out from the crowd, then it's my call. I am no threat nor danger. Simply standing in my own space and my difference actually makes no difference to you at all. You call me names. You stare and whisper to your friend. You refuse to do my eyebrows because we don't do men. You call me sir to greet me with the time of day when how can I help you is actually all you needed to say. You call me predator. Using your religion as a bogus shield, but it's your priests and your bishops who bring shame to your door. Thousands, yes, thousands of victims, and you hide the perpetrators, letting them feast on the vulnerable to satisfy their lusts some more. Yes, I am imperfect, but aren't we all? And if I choose to stand out from the crowd, then it's my call. I am no threat, nor danger simply standing in my own space and my difference actually makes no difference to you at all. You seek to disparage me with lies and misinformation, your voice given megaphones by celebrities needing an education, their simplistic erroneous rhetoric given undue media attention and clickbait headlines with dishonest and sensationalist fiction. You paint me as an enemy allegedly perpetuating a trans agenda when all I want is to be me, not seeking superiority, just equality, being trans just one element of my human being, living a life authentically. Asking me to change so you can stay the same means I lose to pay for your gain. Look in your mirror and see who is to blame. Because I've got news for you, I'm not playing your game. Yes, I am imperfect, but aren't we all? 
And if I choose to stand out from the crowd, then it's my call. I am no threat nor danger, simply standing in my own space. And my difference actually makes no difference to you at all.